Hello everyone, my name is Chief Landless and welcome to my Halo 4 green screen tutorial video, a highly demanded video after I made a quick green screen fun video, made it look like my ghost was driving in a bathroom and I quickly whipped that up within 5 minutes and I obviously can make something better than that and I was just experimenting with it. So here comes the tutorial and we're going to be using three different programs, Adobe Photoshop, Sony Vegas Pro 12 and Adobe After Effects. Now you don't need all three, but I highly recommend if you want to make the best quality product to have all three of these programs. If not, each program can produce its own varying degree of quality with Adobe Photoshop producing something that's acceptable, but not the best quality. Sony Vegas somewhere in the middle and Adobe After Effects producing the best quality while simultaneously using the other two programs. So I'm going to work my way through it starting with Photoshop, then Sony Vegas, and then wrap it up with Adobe After Effects showing what you can do with that and then utilizing it inside of Photoshop and Sony Vegas. So without further ado, I'm going to have to assume that you guys either have a capture card like Apog HD, PVR, Elgato Game Capture HD, Ever Media, whatever you have because you're going to need that if you want to make machinimas and actually use green screen videos. If you do not have that, you're limited to only using screenshots through the in-game screenshot tool on Halo 4's theater mode. Now, once again, I'm going to assume that if you have a capture card, you know how to record your gameplays, save them on your computer, and use them that way. For those that do not know how to save your screenshots on your, to your computer, I'm going to quickly walk you through this right now. We are on halowaypoint.com, click on the community tab, go to file browser, I'll put the link to halowaypoint.com in the description. Click on view your file share. And once you do that, click on recent screenshots. You don't need to put your screenshots in your file share. You can just have your recent screenshots tab here. Click and open it here and you'll see I've got a bunch of green screen ones to choose from, a bunch of other screenshots I took before. So what you do is you click on the one you want and then click on download and it'll save to your computer. And obviously download all the ones you want to work with. And once you do, you'll have a folder that looks like this. We have a bunch of my green screen f photos here, but we'll walk you through some of these here. Some cool poses. Now you all obviously notice this area is not covered by a green screen. That doesn't really matter if you're just working with screenshots. You can edit that out because the whole goal of green screen and screenshots is to completely make your Spartan sort of be a transparent object where you can move it around and edit it and place it wherever you would like to on your projects. So we're just going through some of these different poses and this is what I'm going to use as a backdrop just for videos and screenshots. I quickly just Google imaged it as just a living room scene. So let's start off with Photoshop here. I've imported two green screen screenshots here. We have a Mantis here and we have my Spartan here. Now the goal obviously remove all the green so we have a transparent background and then you can add your object, your image over top of any other project that you are making. So in order to do that we'll select this area of this layer of the Mantis. Click on the select tool, go to color range, use the eyedropper tool to obviously select the green background, click OK, it selects it as you can see the dotted line, click delete, and therefore the green screen background is gone as you make the background layer transparent. You can see there is the mantis. All the green been removed, you can add whatever background you want to make. I use this tool to help with uh, making YouTube thumbnails so we can just slap a, a gr cool gradient background. And there you go, you have your mantis on top of that. As you can see, it doesn't look that great. You can see that the green screen object is so bright in Halo 4, it actually reflects its own color onto other objects. So the exterior of the mantis doesn't look that great. You can fix it by duplicating the mantis on top of each other, or you can obviously spend more time adjusting color curves, maybe add a color overlay that's some sort of green here, and uh, you change it to, you know, hue or color or whatever you can obviously edit it make it a little bit better because obviously the green screen object isn't that great for Photoshop same thing goes with our Spartan here you can grab go select color range eyedropper tool select and delete obviously delete the background that you don't want and there you go there's your Spartan and obviously it will look a little bit better if you duplicate it over top of each other and it'll look a little bit better if I put a color overlay, some sort of blue to represent my Spartan. Click the hue, and it looks a little bit better. It's bearable, it's passable. Obviously, some edges need to be edited out, but that's what you can work with here. Trans it's relatively transparent. Go File, Save for Web, 
and there you go. You can click save and make sure it's a PNG24 and you have a transparent image to work with. Now on to Sony Vegas. Obviously this is going to produce a little bit better quality than the Photoshop version, but you can use this tool to edit your screenshots and edit video as well, as, as opposed to Photoshop, where Photoshop only works with screenshots. It works okay with video. It's a little bit weird. I don't trust Photoshop with video. I'd rather use a video editing software like Sony Vegas. So what we have here is we have a green screen image over top of just a regular living room backdrop. Obviously you can't see it when it's behind this green screen layer so we'll edit that screenshot in a moment we also have a little video here we actually have a video of a ghost driving on by our screen so we'll use a green screen tool to work with those both screenshot and video so i'm going to make this preview look a little bit better here just for the screenshot so obviously you need to add video effects and what you need to go is video effects click on chroma here you can choose the green screen op option there's a pre-built one already there Looks okay, it produces something acceptable, but it's not that great. It makes the Mantis look very transparent. The monitor's eye goes really dark blue. It's not that great. To make it better, you can always obviously check off the chroma key and edit it with it not work, would not enable. Click the eyedropper tool, select the proper green, which isn't in the preset. It's actually off by a little bit of some green values there and enable it again. It's a little bit better, but it made it really transparent. So you obviously have to adjust some of these settings, such as the high threshold. And I found with playing it around in Sony Vegas, I saved a template, and all I have to do is drop the threshold a little bit, and the Mantis isn't as transparent. Same as the monitor, and but the eye and the little bit of colors don't seem to match up that well, especially blue. Things get a little exaggerated, a little bit of darker blue getting close to purple. And that's okay, it is acceptable. If you want to edit out the background that is visible in this preview, click on the layer mask and obviously select what you want to just maintain visible here and select and cover. And there you go. You have your mantis, you have your monitor. It doesn't look that great, but it is acceptable. And once again, you can export these edited screenshots by muting and disabling the background layer. Make sure the preview set the best in full quality. Save your sna snapshot and you can save it as a PNG file. That's the way to keep your transparent backgrounds. And this black will actually turn transparent. And you can use it that way if you want to make screenshots transparent in that regard. Now let's move on to videos here. Obviously, same rule applies here. We'll get a good view of the ghost in the middle screen here. Same thing happens here. You can put your chroma keyer here. I've already going to put my Halo 4 preset one in. And there you have it. You have a little ghost driving through the living room here. Click play, and we'll see this ghost zooming on by. And I just loop the track so you can see it happen multiple times. And there you have it. You can save it, render your video, have your ghost driving wherever you want. You can have it driving in the bathroom like I did with my video. And that's what Sony Vegas can do for you. It's not the best quality. As you can see, um, the ghost does turn out all right. But my Spartan, let me get preview full my spartan isn't actually purple it's blue so it does change us some colors makes the ghost look great but my spartan isn't blue and that's a bit of a problem and that is what sony vegas can produce but it is acceptable and we'll now move on to adobe after effects where you can make the best quality now we're in adobe after effects this program will probably make the highest quality products out there for the screenshots and the video so what i have for you guys is a screenshot that we're working on right now and then i'll show you guys what it does to videos which is pretty much the same as screenshots so with the screenshot imported onto our track here click on the effects and presets tab here and then drag over key light 1.2 onto your screenshot over here we have the settings for the key light effect click the eyedropper tool and select the green screen color and just like that voila it has keyed out the green screen looks way better than what photoshop can do the green doesn't bleed into the object the actual color of the object bleeds out it stays blue unlike sony vegas which is high, you know way better than sony vegas in that regard you can obviously in post-production edit out this obviously the bleeding out effect of these colors but it's very barely noticeable it's very minimal you can obviously put more effort into these settings if you want but the default settings with the proper screen color selected is pretty much acceptable to work with and that's how you can get your screenshots looking nice 
You can then go to composition, save frame as, you can save it as an individual file, file or export the individual frame in Photoshop layers, which if you have a bunch of screenshot layers, it'll export all of them into a Photoshop file with all the layers together. As you can see here, I've got one, I did this before already, got multiple layers here, not all of them are visible, I, I turned them off so you can just see it better before it was just a cluster of them, and as you can see, all nice and cl cleaned out here, and if you want to make them more visible, such as this middle one, because they are a little bit transparent, just duplicate the layers over top of each other and the transparency will start to disappear, and then once again, the bleeding out effect becomes more apparent as you add more layers, and you can just edit that out if you want in post-production. And obviously you can still save as each file, each sort of figurine at its own transparent object and make your thumbnails or whatever you want to do with your screenshots. But back into this, not only does it do screenshots in Adobe After Effects, it does the same thing for video. And go ahead and take a guess how we're going to edit this. Obviously we're going to be using this, the same Keylight 1.2 feature. I drop out the green. And if you slowly move this over, you can see we just got a man just walking across the screen. Now to render out these videos with the transparent background, you go to obviously composition, add to render queue, make sure the proper layer and project is selected. And this is where it gets, you have to make sure you do this. Keep the best settings as best, obviously keep it similar to the raw import settings of your video file. Click on the output module, adjust it, and make sure that it has channels RGB and alpha. The two common and accepted formats that do allow for a transparent background to be rendered with a video are AVI and MP4 in the form of QuickTime. And just make sure that RGB and alpha are selected and then you can import it into a video editing software or you can use it in Adobe After Effects or into something you're more confident with, like what I do. I put it into Sony Vegas after I rendered it out. It takes a long time to render it out. So what I have here, I'm going to move it back over to our Sony Vegas file here. And I've already rendered one out because it takes a long time. It's 100 and 102 gigabytes because it's like a really long video file. It's about 7 minutes long. So if I drag and drop it into Sony Vegas here, Obviously, it's got a black background. That's because Sony Vegas doesn't know exactly what to do with it. So let me just find a, a good area to highlight and select. There we go. We shall select this area here. Move it back over here to our backdrop. Here's our Spartan, still with a black background. I'm going to make sure that the disable resample is on, so less motion blur. Go to Properties on the actual clip. Click on Media. And in order to get rid of the black background that comes with it, click on pre-multiplied, pre click OK, and ta-da. There it is. It does look a little bit transparent here, but obviously with those transparencies you can quickly fix that by copying your video file and duplicating over top. And if you keep on duplicating, it becomes more and more visible. And by quickly playing it through, I'm going to drop this down so it doesn't choppy by quickly playing play we will see our Spartan appear and now it's in the living room although it's not quite walking yet I was just positioning it and there we go we got a Spartan firing an incineration cannon in your living room and there you go you can make your machine limbs that way you can make your scanning shots I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you want to leave a like or a favorite it does greatly help out my channel subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. My name is Chief Lamas, and I'm signing out. And if you guys have any comments, leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them and help you guys out.